This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to use the file system task to delete a single file. Then I'll use it to delete all the files in a directory. And finally, I'll use it to delete a directory and all the files in it. In the first part of this video, I'll delete a single file. This is the folder I'll be working with. It's called Directory 1. And uh, in this first portion of the video, I'm going to delete an Excel file named 7file. So I will hold down the Shift key, right mouse click on the name of the file. And then I will copy as path. Now we'll go over to Visual Studio and I'll find the file system task, drag that onto the canvas, and I'm going to delete a file, and I double click on the task to open the editor, and first thing I'm going to do is choose the operation, which will be delete file, and the source path will be a variable, so I'll set this to true. And then here I need to set up the variable. And I click on new variable. And I'll name it delete file name. It's in the user namespace. It'll be a string. I'll paste in the value. And I need to get rid of the double quotes around this. So I'll delete the one at the end and then go back to the beginning and delete that one. Now I'll click OK and OK again. I'll save the package. Right mouse click on the name of the package and select Execute Package. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we'll go look and see if, yes, 7 file, that XLSX is now gone. Stay tuned to see how I delete all the contents of a directory and how to delete a directory using the file system task. Do you need to sort large amounts of data that can't be sorted using the standard sort? How many times has the standard sort component failed you when sorting more than two gigabytes of data? With CozyRock Sort Plus component, you can sort any amount of data and any number of records. It's free for testing and development and provides the same set of capabilities like the standard sort component, and yet it does so much more. It's not limited by the amount of available RAM, also can accept multiple inputs, and all processing is done in parallel using a configurable number of threads. CozyRock's Sort Plus provides optimal utilization of your server's resources, sorting very large amounts of data in a reasonable time. Download the Sort Plus component now. CozyRock SSIS Plus is free for testing and development within Visual Studio. In this part of the video, I'll delete all the files in a directory. Here's the folder we're going to be working with. Um, I'm going to delete the contents of directory 1. So I'm going to hold the shift key, right mouse click on it, and copy as path. And I'm going to open it up so you can see there's eight files in there. They're all Excel files. And now we'll go over to Visual Studio and I'll drag the file system task onto the canvas. I'm going to be using it to delete um, directory contents. I'll double click on it to open the task editor. First I'll go select the correct operation which is delete directory content. And now is source path variable. I'm going to say true and set up that variable now. So I click on new variable and we'll name it um, directory name. And the value type will be string again. And then we'll paste in the directory name and again remove the double quotes at the end and the beginning 
and then we click OK and OK again and I'll save the package and then right mouse click on the name of the package and select Execute Package and it succeeded so I'll stop debugging and go over to look at the folder now and it's empty. So the directory still exists, it just doesn't have any files in it. In this part of the video, I'll delete a directory and all the files in it. We'll be working with the same directory again. It's called Directory1 and it has files in it now. And this time we're going to delete the whole directory, including all the files in it. So we'll drag the file system task onto the canvas. Double click to open it. I forgot to change the name, so we'll do it here. Delete directory is what we'll name it. And then we'll change the operation to delete directory. And we're going to use a variable again, so we'll set this to true. And we'll create a new variable. Call it directory name. And the value I don't have in there. So I got to go back over to the folder, hold down the shift key, right mouse click, and select copy as path. And I will paste that in here. Remove the double quotes at the end and the beginning. And click OK. And OK again. I'll save the package and right mouse click on the name of the package and select Execute Package. And it was successful. So we'll go to that folder. And you can see directory one no longer exists. It took out the directory as well as the contents of the directory. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.